Did you know that the Red Octobers were not the first red sneaker that everybody loved? In my opinion, it was the All Red Suede 21s. These came out about 20 years ago and have changed the game ever since. And I can't wait to deep dive into these Toro 6s because there's so much history and nostalgia behind this shoe right here. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So getting right into it, the Toro Raging Bull Air Jordan 5 came out in the pack back in 2009 and these things changed the game as well. The Red Suede 21 was definitely a coveted sneaker at the time, but it was a Jordan 21 model and everybody loved fives more in general, so because of that, everybody gravitated to this shoe. I remember skipping class camping out for these back in high school just so I could get my pair. Over the years, the Raging Bull 5 slowly started to go up, and as we all know, Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls, which made so much sense when it came to the Toro Bravo pack back in 2009. The inspiration came from the running of the Bulls in Spain, inspired by the Bulls, and then the red collars that they would wear as they would do the run. So it was definitely dope to see how they tied the two when it came to this colorway. And then about four years later, we saw the Toro Air Jordan 4s, which again has that same kind of scheme when it comes to the color, and the inspiration behind it, Toro, Toro Bravo, Raging Bull, all those different things, but it kind of had just a little bit of different name. But overall, as sneakerheads, we kind of viewed it in the same category. I vividly remember when these came out, and I'm telling you right now, these things sat. Not a lot of people liked them, but slowly over time, more and more people started to realize they liked the shoe. Next thing you know, these things became crazy expensive. Also during this time in 2013, we saw the Red October Yeezy 2s. And yes, I can honestly say the Red October is definitely the shoe that made all red sneakers relevant literally every single brand was making all red sneakers no matter what the model was they had a red iteration of that sneaker and it was crazy to see during that three to four year window and because of that hype behind red sneakers more and more people started to fall in love with these type of shoes which then caused them to do what keep rising in value. Prime example, all red 12s, some all red 5s, some all red 1s, you name it, there was a bunch of different versions. The Ferrari 14s, trust me, the list goes on. But when it comes to all red Air Jordan 6s like this, we don't see it too often, but we have seen it before. Like I said, during that era of all red sneakers of 2013, 2014, 2015, Jordan brand definitely took advantage of it when it came to their sixes as well. And one of the first releases that we saw was the infrared 23 Air Jordan sixes. These came out on All-Star Weekend. And I remember actually picking these up that weekend in New Orleans for the drop. Next up after that, they followed it with two more all red sneakers, the Spizike Air Jordan six and the Slam Dunk Air Jordan six. A lot of people were really loving these. I feel like the Spizike in particular really slept on great materials price is good on these but the slam dunks at one point these things were hitting for way too much and honestly they still kind of expensive <laughs> and before we get to breaking down the differences of materials between the new retro air jordan 5 raging bull and the toro air jordan 6 because trust me they look very similar but they're definitely different i just got to make sure we throw in the carmine air jordan 6s because back in 1991 when jordan wore these on the court these things stood out like crazy all of his other sneakers were black or white with a hint of different colors but this colorway in particular is very iconic still to this day and you know with me being an Air Jordan 6 fan, I had to mention those. So let's take it to the studio and break down all the details of this sneaker. Okay, first things first, shout out to my guys over at Hearth for holding me down on this one. Unfortunately, they didn't have a size 13 for your boy. So I took the 12 just so I could give you guys a review, but I gotta take them back. I'm still trying to get these in my collection. Luckily, they don't come out for about a month and a half, so we still got time. All the release info will be down below in the description as well. And if you ever wanna stop by Hearth or check out their website, they also have a new merch drop that's going on right now. Make sure you check them out. The link is down below in the description as well. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and start cracking open this box and getting into this shoe. Starting with the lid right here, you have your classic Air Jordan 6 box with a twist. You got your all red right here on the top with the Jumpman in all black in the center. Then you got your cement print all throughout the sides of the box right here on the front and back end as well. And then on the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 6 Retro Varsity Red Black size 13 not for me now lifting open the lid of the box you got your all over cement print paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe as y'all can tell from my excitement earlier in the video i love these sneakers so i don't have too much to say so let's go ahead and get into them looking at the bottom of the foot you got your classic air jordan 6 outsole translucent on the front and back end with the ice tint then you got your all black in the center and your red jump man at the center of the foot now going up to the midsole similar to the varsity red air jordan 6s from back in the day who remembers those such a great shoe. You got the all black with the red hit on the front and back end, and then you got an all white air unit in the back of the heel. Now going to the upper, honestly, this is something that I'm definitely excited to talk about because I thought from images, these would be exactly like the Toro Bravo Air Jordan 5s that just came out, what was that, like a year or two ago? But when I put them side by side, they're actually really different. So when I first saw this sneaker in hand, the first thing that I said was, 
These are definitely darker than the Toro 5. The color on these is a lot more rich and the suede feels a little bit better as well. If you see when I put these two side by side, this one kind of looks a little bit more orange and the suede is a little bit thinner and a little bit rougher as well when it comes to that. And hopefully you can see what I'm talking about in the detail shots right there. So as you can see, the entire upper on this sneaker is covered in that red suede. And then you have a black mesh in the center behind the red laces. You got a red Jumpman right here on the patch and then a red Jumpman on the lace lock as well. All black rubber tongue with the Air Jordan branding black sock liner black tab with a red line and then on the insole same thing all black with a red jump man there's not too much to say when it comes to color blocking besides yes it is an all red sneaker and like i showed you guys earlier there are differences between all red sneakers that jordan brand have done in the past when it comes to air jordan sixes but it's also very interesting to see which one people like the most when it comes to these all red air jordan sixes and i actually posted a poll here on the community tab to see what you guys think and this is what y'all said the majority of the people chose these as the best color way of the all red air jordan sixes and then when it comes to second it was actually really close between the slam dunks and the infrared 23s and then the spiz Ikes were in dead last i'm definitely interested to see how you guys feel about that ranking i'm not sure if that's because this shoe hasn't come out yet and there's a lot of anticipation behind it and we got a lot of new sneaker heads into the game now that haven't got their chance to get an all red six so they're definitely excited about this one there could definitely be a lot of different reasons and we'll talk about other poll results later in the video but i was honestly pretty shocked when i saw those results so again when it comes to comparing the Toro Air Jordan 5s to these honestly I feel like it would have been kind of dope if they would have added like kind of a white element to the front or split it or some kind of way to create that same vibe as the Toro 5s here how they have that white with the red split and then it has a silver tongue on here with the 3M similar to the original release as well would have been dope if they would have done that or tried to bring some type of element of that and really make it look even more similar to the actual release when it comes to these and then one thing that stood out a lot to me that ah man i wish they would have done you got a black jump man on the back right here and then on the back of the toro sixes you have a red jump man I, I feel like if these had an all black jump man with the air on there it would definitely make it pop a little bit more give it more detail and element to the sneaker let me know how you guys feel about that small detail down below in the comment section now let's take it back to the office and go through these poll results so you guys know on this channel i love to do polls as well to see what everybody else thinks not just give you guys my opinions but hopefully give you guys what everybody else's perspective is so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on ig so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel ask the people a simple question if this shoe is fire or if this shoe is trash this is what they said 74 percent of the people chose fire and 26 percent of the people chose trash so overall the grade is a solid c and i think a lot of people still do like the sneaker but there's a lot of other shoes that are coming out and then they have other references to the fives or other sneakers like that then they might say well i don't really wear all red shoes like that anymore i could understand so many different reasons as to why that 26 percent of the people chose the shoe being trash I get it, but you know me, I'm a Jordan 6 fan, so I love them. Now, the next thing I was interested to see if people like the 6s more than the 5s. I already knew everybody was going to pick the 4s, so I didn't even put that into the category because it was just going to be a landslide. But who knows? Maybe people like the 6s more than the 5s. Let's see what the people say. 74% of the people chose the 5s, and 26% of the people chose the 6s. And honestly, this is really crazy because if you think about it, that's the same exact poll results with a different type of poll. But either way, it's crazy to see the percentages be the exact same as the previous poll. I just posted now this one I could definitely understand because the Raging Bull 5s have so much more history so much more nostalgia behind them and I get that we haven't seen the sixes before so it's something new that's into the mix but it's crazy because I don't know if you guys remember but I saw some sample lightning and thunder Air Jordan 6s this was like 15 years ago but we've still never seen that happen all yellow sixes I know we saw the Travis Scott's but there were some lightning sixes that were made way back in the day. And I'm hoping and praying that Jordan Brand sees this video and makes them happen again because those were crazy. But either way, Jordan Brand, bring the lightning and thunder sixes into this world. Oh, I would be such a happy camper. But to finish off this video, I think they did a really good job on this shoe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm excited to give you guys more reviews. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We just cracked 300,000 subscribers. We're on the road to a million. I'll see you guys in another one. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the only choice I like to if you made it to the end of this video, drop 
drop a comment down below and let me know what is the greatest all red sneaker of all time and it can't be the Air Yeezy 2. Give me a good one. Give me something. I want, I want to hear what you guys think about that one. To me, low key, I might be rocking with the Ferrari 21 still. Make what I'm aware today. One of those. One I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.